Exactly, man. What? What? Yeah, right here, yeah. What? What? Sun don't shine forever, but it's here. It's not as it should. Yeah, better now than ever. Yeah. I think I will do it better. Sorry. Brooklyn. It's just crazy, you know, what I've been through. You know, just to, to be here in this company, you guys, I swear, I'm not supposed to be here. If you guys really, really know where I'm coming from, if you guys really know my story, I'm not supposed to be here. Yes, you are. I promise you. So I'm going to share a story with you guys. When I was 19 years old, actually 18 years old, someone mistaked me for somebody else and hit me with a machete in my face. Stabbed me, cut me in my head for someone else named Ashton. I was left for dead. But something crazy happened, you know, the friends that I told my friends, I realized they weren't my friends. So I changed my circle and I started hanging out with my friends that played soccer. And over time, just going through a process to become a better soccer player, I ended up getting a scholarship to come to the United States, you know, and when I came here, I lost my scholarship because the coach gave my scholarship to someone else. So I had two options, go back to Grenada or clean toilets so I can pay my way through college. I'm still here, so you guys know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, you know, this is crazy. I've been through so much. You know, when I joined FES, I was struggling. I want to give it up to my wife who's hearing me today. You know, it's crazy, man. I remember literally coming from, I went to play a game in Belize, my national team, and I, and I got injured. And I came back, and I was supposed to fly out to Grenada to play that return game. And the doctor said, you can't play. Your leg is, you can't walk. And the day I was supposed to fly out, our son was born. And if I wasn't, you know, there, I would have been pissed at myself. But, you know, i just been through so much, guys. It's just crazy to be here. I remember just losing everything, having to pack my house and move into my in-law's house in a room. Then I had a business partner that robbed me $80,000 in a month. Put me flat on my face. I didn't know what I was going to do. But I kept pushing. I kept focusing on growing, just keep growing and growing. And if every single person just focus on what they want, you know, borrow from your future, it doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Sure. Think about where you want to be. Focus on your future, borrow from your future, and eventually you're gonna become successful, guys. So I'm truly honored to, you know, even be, for you guys to even think about having me as a nominee for this award. I really breathe, sleep, F.E.S. Yeah. 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 I don't sleep. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just mad my son is not here right now. My son, I just, I'm just mad my son is not here right now. You know what I mean? Because I remember when he was six months old, I couldn't even take care of him. Oh, my God. 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 O
I'm just, I'm just truly honored and humble, guys. Uh, and thank you, thank you.